Hello, and welcome to Mac Nirvana, your path to digital harmony. When it comes to working with computers and other devices, I'm a firm believer that having foundational information builds understanding, confidence, and it ultimately empowers people to truly do and create wonderful things. I want to take some time and break down exactly what you're looking at on your screen. This will give a baseline of terminology and methodology that will benefit you greatly in future tutorials. This way, when I say click on your desktop or go to your edit menu, you can do so without hesitation. Your workspace is made up of three areas, the desktop, the menu bar, the dock. The largest area of these three is the desktop, which is located in the middle. We call it the desktop because it's designed as a metaphorical version of a working desk. If we look at my physical workspace, we find paper documents, things that I've printed or have been mailed or given to me. On the Mac, a document looks like this, or this. At my physical desk, we see folders where I can hold and arrange my documents. On the Mac, this is a folder. Again, it can also hold and arrange my documents. We see I have a trash can in real life, and on my computer screen, there's a trash can as well. Here I have a filing cabinet to store and arrange my folders and files. On our Mac, the hard drive, usually titled Macintosh HD, is our filing cabinet. It also holds our stuff. I'm going to have some future tutorials that will look at file management in greater detail. The important concept here is that of the virtual workspace and the desktop as the central starting point. Bordering the desktop along the top, we find the menu bar. This thin strip along the top of your display is the menu bar. The menu bar is a series of words and icons, each of which provides a drop down menu. If I click on the word file, a whole list drops down below the word to reveal options related to file. We will review these options in far greater detail in later tutorials. What is important right now is to remember that the top part is the menu bar. In the future, if I say click on your view menu, you would move your cursor to the word view along the top here and click on it, causing the options for view to drop down. The menu bar is always present, but it can be hidden off the top of the screen by certain apps or programs, especially if you enter full screen mode. If you're looking for your menu bar and don't see it, move your cursor all the way to the top of the screen and the menu bar will drop down. Now your desktop is bordered along the bottom edge here by the dock. This is a place where applications, also known as programs, files, folders, and windows are all docked, much like a boat. Now the dock has this line. Everything to the left of the line is programs, or as we like to say in the Mac world, applications. These two words are interchangeable. Everything to the right of this line is files, folders, and windows. To start or open one of these applications, just click on it with your mouse or trackpad. We see it bouncing here. This is the computer's way of telling us that it has received our command and it's working on it. In future tutorials, I will teach you how to customize the dock to contain the things that are most important to you. For now though, the important thing to remember is if I say, look in your dock, you would look in this row of icons. Or if I say, your trash can is in your dock, you would know to look here. Let's recap here. This is your workspace. It is made up of three areas. The desktop in the middle, the menu bar at the top, and the dock at the bottom. In future tutorials, I'm going to use these as reference points to guide you to specific areas on your display, so you really need to know them. If you'd like to continue growing in knowledge and confidence with your Mac or other Apple product, please email MacNirvana at info at MacNirvana.com. We provide individualized training, both in person or live over the web. We also offer group and business training and consulting. Visit us on the web at www.MacNirvana.com for more details. For MacNirvana LLC, this is Rob wishing you happy commuting and may your Mac be beach ball free.